Hello, I'm Dani. Welcome to the workshop. In today's tutorial, we will have a look on different drawing views. This is known in the description of SOLIDWORKS for the associate exam as drafting competences. So, this is my Tors hammer or Mjolnir. With it, I will show you the different views. We will start with the classical section view. When you have a section view in a drawing, you have always a section line and proje projection of this section. In some cases, it could be not aligned with your model. Under the section view, you always have the name of the section and sometimes, not always, you have also the scale. In the view itself, you have also crosshatch and as I said, it's representation of our section line. As you can see, only in this area is going through the model and here it's going outside of the model and it will look like this. Another view is the break view. In the break view, we have a break line and a gap in our model break line can be different in style but it's always represented with dashed line as i said this is a break view the gap may vary in size the line could be in different style, but it's always represented like this. The next view is a broken out section. When you have a broken out section, you have a hatched area directly inside your model Usually it's a spline, the border, and this is a broken out section. And the last view we have is a crop view. In a crop view, we do have a cutout or only partial view of our model. So we are going through all again. Standard section view, it's noted under it that this is a section, not inside. This inside is something that I have done. This under. Broken out view, gap in the model, and break line. Break line can be in different style. I will show you some other styles. broken out section inside the model we have some shape with uh, with hatched area this means this is a broken out section and the last view when we see just part of the model this is a crop view so now you know how to recognize the different drawing wheels and also how to make them. Don't forget to like the video. If you have some questions, you can write them in the comments below. And if you want to be always up to date, subscribe for the channel.